Hi, welcome to Creekside Catholics. I know it's been a really long time since I've checked in, um, but I wanted to just show you a few things from, I think is going to be my 2024 or 2025 um, curriculum choice. Um, it's, I'm falling in love with all of these books. Um, it's St. Jerome Library and School. It is traditional Catholic. Um, it is just so beautiful, all these books. And um, what is so great is if you are, say you have, like I do, I have, I'm homeschooling four kids this year. And um, my youngest, I don't necessarily want to buy books for because I don't have anybody to come after him. You can rent some of these books. You can like check them out for a fee, keep them for a year, and send them back. Or if you want to keep them longer or even buy them, you could do that too. But some of these books are just so adorable and precious. And I just wanted to show them to you. This pictorial catechism is just, yeah, see, return to the library. Um, it's just so beautiful. And it's, it's so simple, um, the lessons. There's one in here um, that has to do with um, venial sin and mortal sin. Oh, I just look at the pictures. They're so gorgeous. I love it. Um, where is it? There it is. And my son is funny because he'll say, you read the, the stuff in the black. And he goes, and then I read this, which is great. You know, it's so cute. Um, but he really liked this part, um, and so I would quiz him afterwards. Okay, which one has the mortal sin on his soul? Um, and then we would discuss what does that mean, and it's so great, and it's just such a beautiful book, and it's easy to read. It's just, it's delightful. I love it. And the next thing that I think is so great are the science readers. So he's in um, third grade this year, but I wasn't sure on what the levels were like. They do have some previews of the books, but um, I like to see what they are in hand. You know, um, I'm just like that. So I got um, the level or whatever it is, Science and God's World 2 reader. And oh my goodness, they are so sweet. They're so sweet and like just so simple, but perfect, like perfect. And grade three, which my son is in grade three and I wanted him to, um, I wanted to see what it was like so I would know whether or not he should go right into the um, Science of God's World 4 next year. And I think he totally can. Um, but these are just so great. They're just like, oh, look at it. It's wonderful. You know, they're, they're learning about science in just such a sweet way. Um, just a, it's just adorable, and, but it's solid too. Um, and then the other one I was nervous about was the reader because um, these are from a pretty long time ago. And so I wanted to see the third grade reader to see if maybe I should put him in this one next year. Um, but looking at the reader, I think actually the stories are appropriate for him now. I think he could totally read this. Um, like there's a lot of poetry in here. Um, there might be like some names and stuff like rally. He might not know that, but for the rest of it, I think he could completely read this. No problem. Um, this year and we'll see because he'll be doing it this year. But anyway, um, I just wanted to know again, I had to have it in my hand to see if, you know, he should use it for fourth grade or not. But, um, I just wanted to like show you a little bit, um, of these books, what they look like, um, 
like what size they are. Um, I don't have a big hand, but like that's how big they are. Um, just they're just so precious all of them and they're they're perfect and they're wholesome and you don't have to worry about anything weird being in them um and hopefully next fall i will have a whole unboxing for sixth grade and fourth grade to show you so um just stay tuned for that and have a very blessed school year and i'll put the uh, link below for saint jerome school and library it's actually library and school. <laughs> anyway, um, take care. God bless. Bye.